So guys, I'm starting on my little very short, 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 short duct tape segment. Segment. With the duck brand duct tape. I just gotta love them. Anyway, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a quick bow. If you're trying to make a big bow, I suggest that you do from 10 to 14 inches. But if you're doing a smaller bow, I suggest you go from 8 to 10. My opinion, okay? You can do whatever you want. I just recently got this like a few minutes ago, about an hour ago or something. So the duct tape is pretty fresh. So if I have to stop and undo it or whatever, if it gets stuck together, I'm so sorry. Okay. I've actually had to look at the same video like four or five times just to get the hang of it. So this is my first time actually doing a duct tape video for someone else. But let's get started. What you're going to do, I'm going to do kind of a medium size bow. So I'm going to do the 8 to 10 inches. I'm not doing any measurements because it takes too long. But this is about a pretty good length, I would say. That's a good length considering on the type of bow that I'm trying to guess and do. So then take your scissors. Hair cutting scissors are the best because they're really sharp to cut through thick hair and stuff. So I'm sure they'll be pretty good to cut on duct tape as well. But you can use any scissors, you know, just make sure that they're not messed up. Cutting it straight as possible. Just cut the whole enchilada. Cintinto. Sorry, it's taking me a long time. I'm trying to make this as short as possible. But the next thing I know is seven minutes long. Okay. You now have your strip. Then what you're going to do is you're going to leave a little piece at the end. So about to right there, that's where you're going to roll it. So you're going to take it, and you're just going to really just simply flatten it out. I mean, it's not hard at all whatsoever. It's not hard at all. But it is kind of for me. I see other people doing this, and they make it look so easy. But it's not as easy as it looks. I guess they've been with the duct tape brand a long time. That's why they say it's easy so I kind of messed up at the end right there I'm sorry doing the best that I possibly can and I still left out a little piece right there so now what you're gonna do is fold it kind of like you're making a bracelet <laughs> keep with the sticky size so nothing is sticky it's kind of just like a little bracelet or whatever bracelet then you're gonna scrunch the sides up together I'm making a small one. So you can all kind of you can already see this little bow shape thing on my jiggy. Okay, so try to keep it in that shape as much as possible and scrunch the back because you don't want it looking like that. You want to scrunch it together as well. I actually didn't come prepared for this too much. Like that. Then you're going to take about one inch, a one inch piece, about that big, cut it, then you're going to rip it in half, rip it or cut it in half, either way it goes. If I'm going to rip it, I'm going to have to cut it a little bit. Cause, like I said, I'm new with this. Yeah. The video is now on three minutes, so this takes about four or five minutes. Rip it in half. Take the smallest piece, because I see that I've ripped it kind of uneven. Scrunch it right back up. Mm -hmm. Take it. And then just simply scrunch it together as much as you can. Make sure that it's not too thick. If anything, you want it to be thin so that it can fit between here. And you don't want to mess anything up. Because if you plan to wear this outside somewhere, you definitely want it to be noticed. So you don't want it to look junky or anything. Keep it scrunched together as much as possible. So, there. You have your little bow. 
it's cute and I like this type because it has the green, the purple, the blue, the yellow, the orange. You know, it has all these colors in it. So you can pretty much make anything out of these. And you could do it with the other ones, but I prefer this kind because it's got a lot of colors in it. And there, then you can kind of slip your finger in between here to kind of give it that more realistic bow look. You know, keep it kind of puffy. As much as you'd like. Just add a little more life to it. And this is definitely safe for any type of hair. Just make sure that there's no sticky parts out. And I think you're good to go. Yeah, so you're good to go. Sorry, my thing just went off. Tell me my battery's low. So keep that however you would like it. And then you basically have it. This is your bow right here. And then you can add it to um bobby pin or something. All you do is take the extra piece that you have and then you would like put it right here so that you can clip it in your hair. You take it right here and then stick it on there. So that it's kind of like that. And you can just kind of put it inside your hair. Or you can attach it to a headband by doing the exact same thing with the leftover piece. Oh, yep, it's coming down. It's coming down. It's raining really hard outside. It's raining hard, Zelda. Sorry, it's really raining hard. It's shit booming. Woo! So, you basically have your bow. Oh, that rain coming down. Hope you do the same, and it turns out awesome for you guys. Anyway, holla!